Oh, he's on fire from the serum. Oh, Grim is here. Oh my gosh, our baby, she is naked in the toilet. What? Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. You're watching Just a Mom That Sims. I'm KT, and I'm here today with another oh, yeah. Mad Scientist Adventure. Yes, so if you like my content, oh, please oh, like, subscribe, follow, comment, on. hit that notification oh, bell. Just do all yeah, the I'm things. Sorry. So I am okay. here with Tara, and you may notice yeah, that she's got different you. hair. She actually oh, aged up off you. camera, and she is now an adult. Oh, she grew her hair oh, out just a little bit. Not. She's not going to wear it long. Oh, and she is standing oh, here talking with the father of her second child, Patchy. <laughs> That's right. Tara has occult babies. So she's going to get over here and get some dinner going. But we've got a few goals for today. The main goal would be to get Tara promoted. She goes back to work tomorrow. I am hoping that she can come out with a promotion because we are trying to reach level eight of the scientist career. Because if we reach that, we can upgrade the satellite dish and most importantly, the sim ray tube. But most importantly, the cloning machine. Yes. Tara has a goal. We want to clone as many of the Sims in San Sequoia as possible. And we want to move those clones into the house with the people that they were cloned from. Because wouldn't it be fun to just see doubles everywhere? I think this is supposed to be our mission because this is Tara's cousin, Courtney, that the game spawned after she did research of her genealogy online. Something else we want to get into within this episode or the next is Courtney's a strange aunt that raised her after her parents were, unfortunately, victims of cow plants. The aunt raised her. She was just a little bit of a cold sim. She went off the map as soon as she didn't have to take care of Tara anymore their aunt also took care of Courtney and maybe that's why she was kind of hard to get along with at first I'm not sure but I know she had contact with her because Courtney here does not even like to talk about their aunt at all and she showed up out of the blue Courtney just acted like she did not see her at all Let's get Tara to finish eating. Oh, another important thing. Let's turn to the side. You may be able to see Tara has a baby bump. She is pregnant with her next occult baby, which is a mermaid baby. She is going to make sure she gets some nourishment. Uh -huh. All of her babies are sleeping. That way she can just clean up. Let's go ahead and repair this stove. She is going to cook some more pasta because the kids really do like pasta a lot. Yeah. Courtney comes over because her cousin Courtney is homeless. So she comes for stayovers all the time and she helps with the children. Courtney does not want to work. So though Tara does not want them to live together, she absolutely invites her over for stayovers for days at a time. It's really an advantage to Tara because Courtney watches the kids for her. So it's free childcare and she cleans up really well i think she's got the clothes washing i don't know why tara is cutting herself still like she's a novice cook because she's not oh drew scott i don't know why he's running around the side of our house because that's kind of weird here we've got our toddler and our oldest child which is oldest child is father winter's baby now they've got a little play center out here mostly for her oldest emory but the toddlers have a slide and we've got a swing set out here thank you for subscribing if you're a new follower this is Tara's house that I built for her. She's got an outdoor kitchen and seating area for eating. What I'm doing now is just taking stock real quick because I will definitely have to put the cloning machine and some other things from her science layer back into her inventory. But I'm actually going to wait until she gets the promotion since she won't be able to do the updates until she actually gets the next promotion. We also can make the wormhole transporter. We were missing parts last time. So I'm hoping that we have everything that we need at this point to be able to get that made and built let me get her to play with courtney that way they can kind of bun and have some conversations yes i got pictures of two of the children on the walls i need to get a picture of little blue who is tragic clown's baby we have not gone to talk to tragic clown's painting which is right here <laughs> since we had the baby we also don't enjoy his company i worked so hard off camera just to get their relationship up enough to have a science baby, baby. and then we asked and tragic clown would not even do that and it dropped our relationship son so i actually had to control tragic clown to get him quest the science baby then we had a whole mishap where we had to go find blue in the world because his daddy tragic clown is whole homeless people he is homeless so we had to go find our baby 
It was worth the trouble. Oh, she loves little blue. Oh, and the result. Oh, so he's gonna really get food on his own, but we want to spend some time with him after he gets oh, himself geez. together. Let's talk to Emery. They'll discuss recent reads. They have some things in common. <laughs> so he's talking about his imagination. He wants to play on a splash pad. Let me actually go ahead and get Olivia up. Then Tara can give her a bubble bath. Emery is over here making his aspirations come true. So he's on to the next thing. He needs to become friends with three other children. And I don't even know if he has one child friend other than his siblings, Skyla. He could call Skyla. Tara goes to work. Oh, at 10 o'clock, Tara can go ahead and go to sleep because she's definitely going to work. Tara works hard while she's pregnant, and she actually works really hard. Like, she usually goes right back to work after she has the baby. It takes a lot to get promoted and get to work careers, and so Tara just doesn't waste any time because our ultimate goal is to get this cloning on, go to space. I want to do everything that's fun, and you can't do a lot of those things to level 8. It would be easier if Courtney lived here, but it definitely would be taking up some household slots. What skills does Olivia need? She could use all of them. <laughs> so let's go ahead and have her come over here and talk to her bear. Oh gosh, our baby's naked. Tara is going to have to get on up and just deal with this issue. Tara is at work and her aunt is calling her. And her aunt Abby is thinking about getting to know Hector Laurent better as a friend. Well, we think she should go for it. That actually surprises Tara. Now, Tara is upgrading her camera because she needs to make it be able to mind control people to eat. Let's make a Sim hungry. There's our favorite test dummy. Okay, so she is mind controlling him to make him ravenous with hunger. <laughs> and let's see, every time she does that, he gets these numbers swirling around. I'm going to follow him because I want to see where Ray goes. Again, his name is Subasa. We call him Ray, Ray because we use the Sim Ray on him so much. So it's like a nickname. He's hungry, but I guess the best food he could think of was water. You know, it works. Makes you feel full for a little while. Cyrus out here digging. He's still missing crystals and metals that she needs to go ahead and build that wormhole generator tara is getting the last one that's out here and let me get her to the restroom because our work day is going to be over and we have not completed many goals i actually will probably have tara stay late let's see yes yeah, she just got promoted so she needs to get her job performance up for sure because we just don't waste time let's mind control them to eat as well let's stay late oh he's doing bad we've experimented on him too much we can give a serum to him so let's go ahead and do that oh gosh it's a fire oh he's on fire from the serum no no we can't talk to you right now Courtney. so he is on fire oh my goodness and tara is panicking she literally could just put him out they're all panicking oh tara tara come back and put your co-worker out you experimented on him we can't lose oh gosh Oh, goodness. Okay, let's go ahead and do neighborhood hive, neighborhood hive mind. After that, we should just make our coworkers happy. This will rain joy down on our coworkers so that they won't be so upset about the fire that broke out today. What I have done is bought one of these food storage freezer thingy mabobs frigidaire refrigerated display i actually shrunk it down a size so if it looks like the food is hanging out it's not see it's good for three and two days now but the toddlers can't actually get the food themselves and it's a hack i use sometimes in my families with lots of children she's gonna come in and put the baby to bed oh my gosh our baby she is naked in the toilet what tara come okay girl i told you to put that baby in the bed but i guess she put him back on the bed so we can go to sleep there she's teaching this naked baby flashcards i can now take family leave as she is in her third trimester let her sleep a little bit and just have him get himself together courtney's here he could talk to courtney she's coming to get the food herself i mean if she wants to not put clothes on and be a nudist i'm just gonna go with it oh look at the siblings they're just hugging and hugging tara's gonna read her to sleep tara needs to come and spend time with emory let's see them talk their relationship is great she talks to him every day but every other day he gets a little special time 
Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, that is so sweet. Let's let Courtney stay over for five nights this time. He can hunt for eggs, which is one of our family and friends day traditions. And now he'll have to go to school since I reactivated that. Abby's calling. She had fun with Hector. We're going to have a conversation with the aunt. But Emery is a class all-star today. He gets to be interviewed. He should be witty, I think. Emery doesn't think he's that funny, but his classmates are falling out their seats laughing. Tara's at work, but she is got to go to the restroom and take care of some of her basic needs first. We are back and Tara is full, so let's invent this wormhole generator. This will allow her to be able to go to six them, and that will be key for Tara when it comes to having her alien baby. Tara's gonna come over here and order oh, oh. Satoru to analyze metals. And Tara's gonna clone a serum. She's already reached her first level. That was a bad clone. It's her mood. I think it directly affects how successful your cloning objects are. So, oh, don't sell for 300 simoleons. I did not know that. Mix ghost ghoul serum. Um, can we do that? No, we need mushrooms. Can you purchase a mushroom as a gift? Oh, you can. One, two, three. I think we need three. Let's get five. Synthesize the ghost ghoul. That's crazy. I don't know. I guess someone would love mushrooms for, for a gift. Probably Tara because she needed them now. Test that ghost ghoul on him now while he's hungry. No, no, no. So maybe oh. we're just helping him get full. Oh, oh, what's happening? It sent him to the to the toilet he's gotta go bad we've maxed out everything oh grim is here please don't take our friend yusuf because he's the only friend we have left in this place they are afraid of tara for some reason oh is he coming to get ray grim is here cleaning up oh can we mind control grim let's do a respectful introduction we do not want to piss grim off too much. that was gonna be fun oh wait he's gone girl she is now a pioneer of new technologies she can upgrade her on a machine her satellites everything that is awesome so as tara gets home and gets ready to get herself a little bit of rest as we check in on our children this is going to be where we leave off so next episode we are definitely oh my gosh he just had an accident her son he's embarrassed we'll talk to him later so anyway so oh gosh <laughs> Until next time, keep simming, be happy, and always have a blessed day. Bye-bye.